AI Landing Zones provides you with uh, comprehensive architectures along with a design framework that's a checklist for you to design your AI use case implementation that you can actually deploy in your Azure environment. So this helps customers build with confidence and scale as they need to grow. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Thomas, and today we are talking about Azure AI landing zones and how they can provide tailor-made and ready-to-use solutions to help you manage and scale your AI architecture. To learn more about this and show you how they work, I'm joined by Bilal and Mike. Mike, Bilal, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Thanks, Thomas. I'm looking forward to our conversation. Bilal, let's start here. What problem are AI landing zones designed to solve and why develop something like this in the first place? Sure, that's a really good question and I think it's a good place for us to start. Um, as we know, AI is evolving rapidly, almost too fast for all of us to catch up. And what we're seeing out uh, in the in, with our customers and in the industry is that there's a lot of innovation happening. But one key essential blocker is that customers lack a reference architecture that evolves with the pace of innovation of our AI and our services. And they need something that they can depend upon to bring their AI apps and agents to production. Uh, in fact, what we see right now, there are several versions of different architectures and implementations out there, which causes confusion for our customers. And what we're doing with AI Landing Zone is addressing that particular problem, giving them a reference architecture with extensible implementation and a design framework to bring their applications to production. Yeah, I mean, if I'm an IT pro, AI developer, or cloud architect, where do I even start, right? So that sounds like a lot of noise to cut through. Exactly. And any IT pro developer out there would, would just see the number of uh, architectures, repositories, Bicep, Terraform implementations available out there. Which one do you really rely on to take your AI application to production? And that's exactly what we're seeing with uh, with our uh, with our customers having having to struggle with, and that's what we're addressing through AI Landing Zone, which gives you a set of production grade reference architecture and accelerator. This also uh, this leads to some real challenges like slower time to production because deployment paths are clear. So we're also trying to address that with AI landing zones. Yeah, and I'm sure like governance and security are like impossible in environments just like that, right? So you need to do something about this. Absolutely. So uh, what uh, without unified governance and security controls, teams end up building one of solutions. This create inconsistent architectures from one AI application to the next, makes you do rework and leaves you with, and uh, leaves you in a position where you can't scale your AI applications on Azure. So add to that the operational complexity and cost management, and suddenly monitoring, optimization, and budgeting, all of that starts to become difficult, uh, if not impossible, without a set of reference architectures. I mean, absolutely. So. How do AI landing zones actually address some of these issues? Sure. So think of AI landing zone as a foundation for your AI use case scenarios and application patterns. We basically took the best practices and design methodologies from the well architected framework and our cloud adoption framework and automated them to give you a setup which you can deploy in your uh, Azure environment. The goal is to help teams move faster from proof of concept to scalable production environments. When uh, you leverage these frameworks, you can uh, you are making sure that the best practices are already built into your implementations in Azure. So security, identity, reliability, governance, all of those things are taken care of in as part of the implementation. Ah, this makes sense. So you're basically adopting frameworks that have been incredibly useful for other areas. Uh, and building a set of practices, especially for AI workloads. Yep, so that's right. And think of this, that AI landing zones are uh, subscriptions that provide uh, shared services to applications. They are designed specifically for hosting applications, and you can provision these via code, use management groups, and assign policies uh, controls directly. So. When I'm looking at this from a like IT pro architect and developer kind of view, uh, why should customers adopt these AI landing zones? 
Yep, so there are several benefits when you adopt an AI landing zone. First of all, you reduce your de uh, deployment cycles by 60%, so AI solutions can move faster from proof of concept to production in days instead of months. Also, uh, security governance controls are built into the implementation from the start, so which means that it helps you meet enterprise and regulatory standards. Uh, this also includes observability and monitoring, giving you tools to monitor performance and optimize your uh, AI costs. And uh, then on the business side, you basically get your uh, use case or your AI application to production faster, uh, giving you an accelerated uh, return on investment on your uh, on your AI. Now, this is this is obviously really really helpful. So. We know that AI development is just at the beginning of a really exciting journey. Uh, this sounds like a really important step to solidify best practices. Now, Mike, can you show us how this works in practice? Absolutely, Thomas. The Azure AI landing zones are an important foundation, as Bilal explained, for a wide range of AI scenarios. They're scalable, they're modular, and they can adapt to different deployment needs. And you can use that default architecture to deploy for a specific AI use case or extend it by adding additional Azure services. If we start at our repo, the AI landing zone, and I scroll down, you'll see that these reference architectures are listed for both with a platform landing zone and without a platform landing zone. We also have upcoming landing zone architectures for things like Sovereign Cloud, and being able to add things like multi-cloud and hybrid environments. Our deployment and, and provisioning is extensible with infrastructure as code. For example, we have Terraform and Bicep, and coming soon, we can deploy the AI landing zone from the Azure portal. The landing zone covers all of the design areas which are in the cloud adoption framework and the well-architected framework. And each design here are, are listed. You can poke through and, and really get more information about each of those. Uh, the landing zone also is extensible and it's, it's to be used as the platform for many, many different AI use cases. And some examples are shown here. If we look at the actual repo itself, one thing to point out is there is a readme file for deploying the AI landing zone. In this case, I'm gonna do a example of a bicep deployment and I'll follow these very same steps here. To really get started, it's, it's quite easy to just do with using Azure CLI, the Azure AZD up command, and that will actually start to kick off the deployment. If we let that run and I actually show you what this will deploy and configure in an hour's time is the resource group that has been provisioned in my subscription with all of those components, including things like network security groups, private endpoints, DNS zones, and also things like AI Foundry and the AI Foundry projects, as well as APIM and other uh, services that will really help you set up your environment quickly um, so that you can start working uh, on your AI project. This environment's now ready to go and your AI applications can be created in, in a secure and compliant environment. Back to you, Thomas. Thank you, Mike. So this is this is this looks fantastic. And I'm definitely gonna especially look at one for the sovereign cloud one uh, in, in after this show. Um, so Bilal, for people watching, what is the best place to start? Sure. So. Uh... As we just saw that Azure landing zones, uh, AI landing zones provides you with uh, comprehensive architectures uh, along with a, a design framework that's a checklist for you to design your AI use case and uh, with implementation that you can actually deploy in your Azure environment. So this helps customers build with confidence and scale as they need to grow. Uh, we've got a repo that uh, basically gives you all the details on our architectures, on our implementation, and our, on our design guidance. Uh, and the way you get to that is that you go over to aka.ms slash AILZ to get started. Fantastic. So this is great information. AI development can feel a bit like the Wild West, and it's great that you all are working on specific actionable frameworks and best practices. 
Um, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having us. Thank you, thank you for having us. Yeah. You can find the links to everything we discussed today in the episode description below. Also, don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments and let us know if you have used an AI landing zone and how your organization benefited. And give our show a like and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new episode drops. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the Azure Essentials Show. Thank you.